Hey, Nugget! Nugget does not wish to speak to... Catch! Nugget does not like burgers! Hey guys, how's it going? It's Ahide here with another episode of Kindergarten 2! Awesome. Okay, in the last episode, what did we do? What did we do? Yes. We ripped off... Uh, Cindy? What's her name? We ripped off her head. She's a robot. We don't like robots. So, yeah. This episode... Oh, we can't do this middle one yet. Okay. Let's go with the things that go boom challenge. Start the mission by giving Carla the laser module. Okay. Let's see if I can remember all the crap that we need. We needed this, this, and this? Carla. Yes, I do. What the? No way. Where did you get that? How did you get it? This is incredible. With this, I can finally... Kid, clear your schedule. We got a lot of work to do. With this laser module, and with that other principal's kid transferring, I can finally go through with my little project. You see, I'm pretty good about getting around this school. I've got keys, secret passages, and I know to how to tangle with Stevie. One problem. I've never been able to solve is getting a passage from the teacher's lounge to the janitor's closet. On its own, it doesn't, but I heard about the stuff that went on at your other school. Oh yeah, hee <laughs> hee. That place was a train wreck. I'm talking about the little pocket bombs that listen to your conversations. I never played the first one, so I don't know what they're talking about. I need one, and you're going to get it for me. You're friends with that crying kid over there, right? Well, you're gonna be. Find him a tissue or something. Maybe you can cheer him up. And he'll give you one of those devices. Probably someone who thinks she's a princess. Pigtails over there might fit the bill. Alright. Um... I... Huh? Alright, I guess maybe we have to fight. Oh, never mind. There we go. Go away, kid. I don't want to talk about it. Thanks, man. I can't believe they made me come to school today. I'm not gonna tell you. You know what? What's the difference? Do you know why we're at this school instead of our old one? I don't. Something bad happened. They found my dad in some weird lab under his office. His head was missing. I'm assuming we did that? So now you know what I have to do then, right? I have a mom. Jeez. I have to take revenge on who did this to my family. Lily, obviously. She was obsessed with my dad. It had to be her. That's what you think. I know she's here. I can feel it. Can you help me find her, please? I need justice. Thank you. Now we just need a lead of some sort. Talk to Nugget. He was close to Billy. Has a crush on Lily. Maybe he knows. Okay. Help! Nugget is trapped. Do you know where Lily is? Nugget does not feel like answering questions right now. Get Nugget out of here. How did you get down there? Nugget was searching for a suitable place for a Nugget Cave. Ask teacher or janitor or principal. Uh, this guy needs tools. Teacher?
No. Okay, teacher doesn't help. I don't think this guy helps, because he needs tools. Nugget is trapped. Oh no, if only had my tow belt. Yeah. Okay. I guess we gotta talk to the principal. Hello, I'm the principal of this fine school. I'm so happy to have so many students. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think we're supposed to do this part. I think we screwed up. Hmm, she was that girl whose brother went missing. Interesting, you know. I did see two kids sneak around in the crawl space under the school. It wouldn't be a sur it wouldn't surprise me since that nugget kid caved in my secret passage this morning. We need another way to get down there. Ah, oh. okay. So we have to restart. Okay. He wants to find Lily. Hmm. She was that girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We just read this. All right. Because Bob will put the grate back on. We need it off if we're going to get down there. I'm gonna get you out. Nugget is free. Nugget is free. Thank you for freeing Nugget. Nice job, kid. So this is Nugget, huh? Yes, Nugget is Nugget. Who is Ponytail Girl? I'm Carla. Say, you wouldn't have happened to see anyone down there. Perhaps some kids in hoodies? Uh, Nugget is not supposed to say. Only those with the secret stuffed creature may know. Right, the secret I've heard enough. Meet me in the smart kid class. We've got work to do. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, what's our work? Good, you're here. We need to get down to that crawl space to confirm if that girl is there. Oh, if that girl is here. Why do you think? I had you open that grate. Why do you think I had you open that grate? It'll be easy enough. Here's the key to the door that will lead you to the handicap ramp. Let's go take our assessments so Danner lets us out. I'm only following you downstairs. I'll make sure CB doesn't stop you from using that key. Okay. I don't know which one I want this time. We've used them both. I guess I'll take the toilet paper. I don't know. Let's go. But Stevie isn't. Once he sees us, he'll take me back upstairs. While he's doing that, use the key to get out before he comes back. We need to be back in class before the bell rings. I'll make another distraction for you so Stevie doesn't see you come in from outside. Just don't be late. Good. Let's go. Hey, Carla. You're not supposed to be downstairs. The girls' bathroom is upstairs. That other monitor should have stopped you. Oh, that's right. Silly me. Maybe you should walk me there to make sure I don't make any more mistakes. Don't play dumb with me. Come on, let's take you back upstairs. I don't understand the point of hall monitors. Like, are these people just, like, hanging out in the hallways not going to school? I, I don't understand. This door leads outside to the handicap ramp. We're unlocking the door. And then I have to go outside. And in here. This is where I got attacked by that alien that last time. I don't think.
think I want to do that right now. Okay. Oh. Okay, I guess I have to hit that squeaky toy. That's all I can do. That's the signal. It's safe to come out. Finally. I feel like we've been waiting in there for hours. Oh yeah, we should probably tell you that. It's us, Lily and Billy. We've been spying on the new school and we've discovered a lot. Do you want to hear about it? Yes. Well, it turns out that the three kids who were rezoned to another school weren't actually rezoned. They're here. They're deep under the school. That elevator has a secret eye scanner that gives you access to go way underground. I think they're using them for experiments like they did with me. We have to help them. Our original plan was to tunnel down there with digging equipment, but that might take too long. Our other option is to get past that eye scanner by getting Penny down here. She's a robot, which means she can, which means she can be controlled. The teachers get these little remotes that control her. Which is also why the lights go out when kids get sent to the principal's office. It's voice activated and calls Penny to take out the kid who was misbehaving. Right. So we need that remote. Can you get it for us? If not, we'll just have to start digging. Me? Oh. I guess he blames me for what happened to his dad. <sighs> we should have seen this coming, Billy. What's the big deal? He can't get to us. He doesn't even know we're here. We can't risk it. I have to confront him. He has to know the truth about his father. Head back upstairs and tell Jerome to meet me in the girls' bathroom. Knock on the first stall twice. You should get back to class before the bell rings. You don't want to get study hall. Okay. Let's go! Hey Stevie, is my friend still in the unacceptable Carla? I, oh. <laughs> Stevie sounds like Siri. I'm giving you study hall. You're not supposed to be down here. Come on, man. I'm just checking on my friend. He's fine. See? Now get back upstairs before I send you to the principal's office. Okay, fine. Jeez. And you. You've had long enough for your bathroom break. Back upstairs now. Good, you're back. I'll take that key. So what's the deal? Are those kids down there? Can we get Jerome to them? Good. Let's tell the crybaby the good news. I like how he just looks like super chill now. You give him a tissue and he's just like, Yo, what's going on? Did you find out anything about Lily? Do you know where she is? So she is here. I knew it. I'm going to get her for what she did. Thanks, kid. I have a plan to get you to get you there. We'll talk during lunch. I hope you all learned something today. Please go to lunch. I need to get upstairs to that bathroom. I got some extra burgers like you asked. What are they for? Stevie got a little extra irritated with me today, and now I have study hall. I'm not going to the principal's office for all of this. We're gonna start a food fight. It'll draw in all the monitors and give you a chance to leave. We just need someone big and dumb enough to start it. Okay then, you just need to find someone willing to start it. Once it starts, there should be enough chaos for you to get out of here. One more thing, while you're upstairs, Get into the science class and change the lesson plan to robotics. I'm gonna need some of that stuff to finish our little project. This guy's big and dumb. Burgers are okay, but I actually kind of miss the slop. Haha, <laughs> yeah I do. This place could use a little redecorating. So could Nugget's face. Easy there, kid. I'm not starting a fight without proper ammunition. Yep, bring me more burgers. We'll kick this food fight off right. You can have mine. 
How many do you need now? One more should do it. Go get one. Hurry up. Okie dokie. Burger time. Burger time. Then let's get this show on the road. Hey, Nugget! Nugget does not wish to speak to... Catch! Nugget does not like burgers! Hey, Fatso, watch it! You almost hit me with that grease ball! Oh, my mistake. I'll make sure to hit you this time. Oof. Hey, that was rude! Come on, weird kid. We don't have to put up with this. Let's give him a taste of his own medicine. Nugget had never considered throwing food back at the nasty bully. Nugget normally just poisons his enemies. But Nugget can make an exception this time. <laughs> Was that a potato? Ah, oh, what the heck? I don't want to get involved in your stupid food fight. Unacceptable. This will not stand in my cafe. <laughs> Perhaps I should get my sister. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, I thought he was gonna start killing everybody. Alright. How is there food outside? Wait. I forget what I'm doing. Oh, yeah, we're going to the bathroom. This is the stall Lily said she would be in. Hello, Jerome. Lily, you, you, you killed my dad! Now I'm gonna do what he should have done. I'm gonna stop you and your crazy conspiracy theories. Jerome, wait. I can explain everything. Liar! I know where Bill- What? Of course she's lying. She's just trying to save herself. Jerome, did you ever stop to consider why your dad had explosives and why they blow up when you mention my brother? Shut up! I'm sure there was a reason. It's because you're unstable. He knew you were after him. Yeah, because he kidnapped my brother and turned him into a monster that makes pills. You were there. You tell him. It's all true. Wait, you were there? You saw everything? She's telling the truth? And my dad, he was... Oh jeez, I think I'm gonna be sick. I'm sorry, Jerome. Thanks for helping me clear things up with him. I'll see you soon. Do I get to take the bomb? Okay, we have a problem. Penny is coming up the stairs. I think she knows where I am. We need to get out of here now. There's got to be another way out of here. Help me find it or we're all dead. I want this bomb. I can't take it. Alright, well, we're going through the grate. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We should be safe here. I'm gonna head back down to Billy. We still have a lot of work to do. I'm sure there's something you can do in here. To wait out the time before recess. Okay. So, we do need to change the schedule, or the lesson plan, to robotics. What the? How did you get into my science classroom? Explain yourselves! Oh, that's rather clever. Not clever enough to avoid study hall, but still clever. Look at all the bad children today. My word, there are a lot of you to make matters worse. <sighs> I didn't get my coffee. No one move or talk. Just... <sighs> Just be quiet. my eyes real quick okay then. did you work through your issues Jerome I guess I did I'm still processing it all but I feel a little better good so you're okay with parting with that little device of yours oh I already did I think I left it on the bathroom floor upstairs great okay kid let's go up and grab that thing
See ya, Danner. It's not gonna be here. <laughs> what are you rotten kids doing up here? We're looking for a little device that was left on the ground. Have you seen it? <laughs> Maybe I have. What's in it for me if I tell you? I don't know. What do you want? Well, the cafeteria needs some cleaning spray since you little hooligans tore it up. And the toilet paper needs replacing in the boys' room. Good, come back here when you do. Alright, so I have toilet paper, but I don't have spray. What prize did you pick for taking your assessment today? Cool, I got the spray bottle. Head down to the boys' bathroom and drop that off. Where do I drop it off? Oh. Why is the hall monitor stalking the stalls with toilet paper? I don't understand what's going on in this game. There you are. So you dropped off that toilet paper, right? Yep. Awesome. Let's go get that device from that old coot. We're gonna blow the lid off this place. You done my- you done doing my job for me? Good. Maybe you kids aren't all that bad after all. Maybe I shouldn't have hit- Maybe I shouldn't have hit so many of you with my mop. Well then, you can leave me alone now. A what? Oh yeah, the little doodad. I put it in the weapons closet. It's in my cleaning car. Baba left the door unlocked. Looks like he was tripping on something in there. You don't have it with you? Come on, man. Deal with it, kid. I'll leave the hall kid. I'll let the hall kid know to let you in. Now, get out of here before I change my mind about hitting kids with my mop. Well, let's head down there. Okay, let's go. Oh, we're supposed to... The janitor said you can go in there if you want, but I wouldn't. We're going in. Whoa, it's pretty <coughs> hard to breathe in here. Once I blow a hole in the wall, it'll air out nicely. Probably snap Bob out of his little trance. Let's get that device and get out of here. If we stay too long, we'll end up like him. Where is it, though? I don't want either of those things. Here. Yeah, he did say it was on his cart. I just didn't think that was a cart. I don't know how much longer we can last like this. We gotta get the heck out of here. I guess we're supposed to go back to study hall. Good stuff, kid. Now we just need to get back to our seats and wait for the bell to ring. Don't forget to pay your lab fee. I'll see you in science class. Huh? What? Oh, must have dozed off for a moment. Ah, right. Anyone who wants to come to science class, come pay your lab fee. Otherwise, go to gym. Welcome to science. Welcome to science class. Today's lesson will be about robotics. That's odd. I thought it was about plants. Anyway, robots are a wonderful way to terrorize the tri-state area. In front of you is one of my favorite kinds of robot, the hydraulic press. Do we have any volunteers to stick their head under it? Anyone? You kids are no fun. Just go stick those spare parts together until something lights up. It's time to break this sucker down. We need to deactivate the triggering mechanism so it doesn't blow our heads off. That's a good question. Maybe someone from your old school has experience dealing with this sort of thing? Uh, go away kid, I'm trying to learn about robots. Of course you do. Yeah, robots are cool and all, but none of the stuff in here comes close to what I've made. You know I can. But you also know, I won't be doing it for free. Twenty bucks? Hmm. Maybe there is something. 
I've seen you hanging out with Carla all day. Are you on good terms with her? Good, good. So what do you say you drop a good word about me to her? Maybe set us up on a little date. But you better try hard. Either you can give me $20 or you can set me up on a date with her. Got it? Well, did you find anyone to do it? Okay, so why isn't he doing it? Uh, that grimy little, you know what? Fine, but I'm not happy about it. Did you ask her? What did she say? Hot diggity dog, I can't wait. We'll be a force to be reckoned with. Oh yeah, this will just take a minute. There, I disabled the listener on it. It won't pop unless you give it a different method of exploding. Just hurry up and tell the little dweeb that I'll be his girlfriend. We need to get a move on. Great. Can't wait for this date. Let's get crushing. What? I can place something to be crushed right here. Am I supposed to put this in there? It's gonna explode. Okay. You asked for it. I I did already. It looks like pressing this button will turn the pressure. You did it. This is exactly what I need to finish the bomb. I can totally blow open that wall now. Oh. Never mind. Ah, another day of learning concluded. What a day. I can't believe we were able to build this thing so quickly. And you want to know the cherry on top? I had enough parts to make two bombs. How sick is that? You can have one for yourself. Since it uses Penny's tech, she won't recognize it as contraband, so have fun with that. I'm sure we'll be working together again soon. Nice. We've now got an untraceable bomb. Awesome. Alright. Feels good, guys. That's gonna wrap it up for this one. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, comment below, and we'll see you next time.